Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I've got something different today. A fellow teacher, Mrs. Ross Davis, took time to share a cool project with me. It is a slideshow Tinkercad scavenger hunt. So let's get cracking. Friends, this is a sweet slide deck created by Mrs. Ross Davis. It is a Tinkercad scavenger hunt. I am giving it to you here because the link will be in the description. That way you guys have a better shot of getting at it. When you open the link, it'll make a copy, but it starts you at the bottom of the project. So if you press home, it'll take you to the top. Once you get to the top, it gives us a few steps. We need to open Tinkercad, change the size to 500 by 500 with the edit grid, and name it Tinkercad Scavenger Hunt. So real quickly, new tab, go to Tinkercad. I always sign in with Google. You can sign in however your class is and hit create new design. Click up here to change the name to Tinkercad Scavenger Hunt. I'm gonna put my name after it and my last name's initial just so it keeps it more organized for me. The next step was to update the grid. Super simple, you click this box. I found that I have to backspace to put the five there and press enter and then backspace, put the five there and press enter and then don't forget to hit update grid or it will not work. Once you've completed it, you can turn it in. So let's look at slide one. It says find the infinity gauntlet. So if we go over here, this is the Tinkercad interface. The whole idea of this project is for you to explore and find things. If we look at this side of the shapes, there's no infinity gauntlet. If we look at the design starters, there's nothing here, but if you click more and more and more, you can see all the shapes. You can also click on the categories and you can check them out like this to see if you can find them as well. But don't forget more and more and more. I'm gonna go to the next one down, Creatures and Characters. Once again, this is the basic bunch. There are several more clicks that you can use to find them all. You can also check the categories. Notice there is no more here, so that's all of those. Notice the eyeballs are here. These eyes don't exist, but if you check my tutorials, I do have a tutorial for how to make those. And then this right here, boom, gets us our infinity gauntlet. So our first one's in, so we can go back to the scavenger hunt and continue to solve the rest of the slides. Friends, I just wanna say thanks again to Mrs. Ross Davis for sharing. It is so cool to have another teacher reach out and for us to be able to work together. Friends, don't forget if you want more Tinkercad projects, you can visit hlmodtech.com, hit the Tinkercad link, and check out all the fun things we've got to offer. Friends, also, if you have a question, comment, or suggestion, you can hit that messaging link and reach out to me almost instantly. Lastly, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.